What's up everyone? Welcome to your 40 minute beast mode button thighs workout. We've got three rounds of 45 seconds per exercise, 10 exercises to rock through. So grab your water, grab your glute bands and grab a bench and let's get started. All right, let's throw hands on your hips and sink it back. Reach and stretch. Very proud of you for showing up today. Great work getting here, whatever it took. It's gonna be worth it, I promise. Good strength workout. I'm just gonna stay focused, staying on the ground, using my bench a little bit and my glute resistance bands. So if you have those near you, just be ready to grab them. Good job, let's go one more and stay down here. Good, walk your hands out just a bit and bend one leg at a time, feeling that stretch in the back of your calf and Achilles. Good. There we go, walk your feet back, plank position and exhale. Drop it down to the ground. Open your chest up. Left and right. Beautiful. Come back into that plank and bring your left foot right outside your left hand. Okay, stay right here if you need to. Drop down and up if you can. We'll go hip stretch at the bottom and then hamstring stretch up at the top. Good, let's go two more. Down one, down two. Step up and switch. Same thing, other side. Get into that position first. Hips point to the ground, drop it and stretch. There you go. With glute work, hip extension is one of our main glute targets. So stretching out your hip is really gonna help you get the most out of this workout. Let's go up and down. There you go, down three, two, and one. Lift your hips up, stay here, and let's focus back into the center. Right feet nice and wide, bending one leg at a time, feeling that stretch in your inner thigh. Good work. Got about 30 seconds and we're done with the warm up. We're gonna hop into some squat walks with our glute bands. So heel toe your feet in just a bit. Drop your hips down, drop the knees out. Let's go up and down. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right, let's go. Grab a glute band. I'm gonna start with my medium strength band. We're walking laterally. Okay, stepping down into a squat, staying there, driving my heel to lead the way. Let's go. These are not rushed. Rounds two and three, I'm gonna challenge you to add some weight if you feel good about that. Okay, make sure you're not leaving your knee here and taking your toe out. Knee and heel stay over top of each other. That's how we keep the glute active. Good. Perfect. Let's go back down, you got three. And rest for 15. Now if you can add weight, you can either throw it on your back or hold it front rack position, okay? I'm gonna grab my 15 and throw it on my back for round two. All right, let's set it down. And we're off again, here we go. Go. Like I said, make sure you're not leading out with the toe and leaving the knee here. The whole point of the glute band is for the knees to drive away. That's it. Good job. Staying focused here. Good job, let's make our way back down. You got four. 
Rest for 15, one more round through. However you wanna make this a little more difficult, let's do it. Ow, ow, ow. there we go. <laughs> Three. Let's go. Step with a knee and the heel. Another thing to remember is don't let this leg that you've stepped away from cave in. Okay, keep your knees fighting out the whole time. There you go, last 15, come on. Four. And breathe, 45 seconds rest. Feel free to keep that band on and if you wanna make this an active rest, just give me some side steps, okay? Just stay right here. While you're resting, I'll show you the next exercise. Left leg Romanian deadlift. No band, okay? You're gonna take it either staggered or lifting, totally up to you. We hinge here, keep a vertical shin, drive it back up to neutral, okay? You can also put your foot on something if you wanna have a little bit more instability challenge, but still really isolating that front leg. You can go right here, or you can take it to the wall, put something here, okay? Same kind of thing. Five seconds, left leg first. Let's go. If you're lifting your leg, make sure it's going straight back. Okay, heel goes straight back from your hip. Keep that heel digging into the floor as you bring your hip back forward. 10. Good, breathe. Go up and wait if you can. All right, here we go. Big deep breath. Doing good. Three, two. strong back, you're not letting it twist, you're not bending over, your hip is going back. As it goes back, you bend at the hip. There you go, 15. Come on, left leg. One more, four. Then you got one more round on this leg. Then we're taking it over to the other leg. Three. All right, left leg, let's go. Nice job. You're feeling good. This is your last round. You need to be pushing here. Ten. Four. Last one. Come on. Breathe. All right. Feel free in your rest to breathe. Also to make it active. Okay, step to the side. You can do a little stationary lateral lunge to keep it active. Next set of three rounds of 45, same thing, just the other leg, okay? You're doing great. Set yourself up to challenge yourself just like you did for this leg. All right, 
15 seconds. You saw me using my bench for the last round. Just put my foot there. It really helps get this good stretch, but have a little bit of balance, okay? All right, let's go. Right leg, three, and we're off. You're doing great. Really proud of you for keeping your focus here. Remember, other leg goes straight back from your hip. Fifteen. Last one. Breathe. All right, let's go up if you can. Come on, trust yourself. You don't have to lift a leg, you can keep it on the ground. All right, give me a stretch. Let's go. You do also have to be conscious of your core. Don't let your ribs reach for the floor. Keep them neutral. Doing great, five. One more. Yes, rest, come on. Last round here. Step it up if you are able. Four, doing good. Three, come on. On second half here, focus, breathe. Strong back, let's go. Seven. Three. Breathe. Amazing job. 45 to rest. And we're gonna do single leg step ups. I want you to think about them as step downs for the workout today, okay? So the emphasis is less on getting up here, right? Bailing yourself out. I want you to get up there strongly and then resist going down, okay? So it's as slow and controlled as you can make it. One leg for three rounds, then we'll switch to the other. I'm gonna start holding my 15 pound dumbbells Kind of see how that feels with the focus on the eccentric. Left leg, let's go. If you don't have a bench, reverse lunges. Here we go. Resist. Step down, 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 down. Shouldn't be slamming onto the floor. Big, powerful push up. Two, one. Last one. And rest. You got the same thing, same leg. Two more rounds. Okay? And you can try this with just body weight first. Then progress when it feels good, like you feel like you have mastered the move. Round two, let's get it. You might notice your knee kind of wobbling a little bit as you lower yourself. Okay, keep driving it out this way. 
There you go. So it's easy to kind of feel it doing this on the way down. Keep it towards your pinky toe edge. There you go. Thirteen. One more. Good, rest. All right, last round. Keep the control here. Okay, like I was showing you, if you feel on the way down, got your knees doing this a lot, sit your hips straight back, drive the knee to the outside, keep it slow, keep this core controlled. Last round. Great work, whole foot is on top of the bench, not just your toe. Heel digs, digs, digs. 15. One more. Good, breathe. 45 seconds to rest. If you wanna make this an active rest, keep that same leg out front. Just give me slow split squats, okay? Same thing for the next exercise. Three rounds on our right leg. Big deep breath here. We go in 13. Right after this, we'll set up for glute bridges. So this will be your last kind of real, real rest for a bit. Breathe. Three, two, one. Come on. Up, step, down. Give yourself a chance to grasp your balance. Remember, knees driving out towards the pinky toe. Notice my dumbbells when I'm going down are surrounding my shin, okay? They're not back here, because I still have to be over the weight-bearing leg. And rest. Good job, and your rest. What I mean by that is if I go up and then I let my dumbbells swing back, I'm just gonna end up here, right? Stay over that leg as you lower. Two, one, let's go. toe and your heel really driving into the surface you're stepping down from. Rest. Good job. Last round. Here we go. Then we'll go glute bridges. Okay? You're doing great. This single leg focus really helps make sure both legs are strong. Last round. Doing good. Two, one. Keep the focus, 20. Nice. 10. Three, 
two, and rest. You can either take it glute bridge, shoulder blades on the floor, or hip thrust, shoulder blades on your bench. All right, I'm gonna go to the bench. You've got about 32 seconds left in your rest. You can include a band on this if you're ready for that. You have three rounds to progress too to make this a little more difficult for you each round. If you're using a band, don't just let your legs collapse in at the bottom. They're driving out all the way down and all the way up. <sighs> all right, here we go guys. Three, two, one. Think about lifting from your rib cage and sternum. So you're not here. You're taking everything, locking it in, lifting all together. Six. And rest, good job. Take it to the floor. Whew. Breathe. Squeeze your glutes to lift your hips. Don't lift your hips and then squeeze your glutes at the top. Two, let's go. Knees out. Yeah, there you go. Feel the difference? <sighs> 10. <sighs> Last one, three. <sighs> Rest. Okay, I can tell a major difference when I'm driving my knees out as I lower and as I lift. Okay, make sure you're doing that to get the most. Last round, ready? <sighs> Let's go. Such a game changer when you have the abduction plus the full hip extension. Believe in yourself. Come on, 15. Last one, three. Rest. Whether you're doing heaviest dumbbell you've got, or maybe a little bit of added resistance here, just make sure you're feeling that you are working your hardest. Left leg glute bridge is up next. All right. If you want to keep that dumbbell on top, let's do it. All right. I'm going to have my right leg just out of the way here so I can still be balanced. All right. Left leg first. If you want to add a dumbbell, let's do it. I've taken myself down to the floor for a little bit more stability since we're doing the single leg approach. All right. Let's get it. Four. Two, come on. Think of lowering for two, lifting for two. Don't let your belly button reach. Keep it locked in between sternum and hips. There you go. 
two, one. See if you can go a little bit heavier in your dumbbells. I'm telling you, we're gonna surprise ourselves with our strength a lot of times. Okay, I'm putting mine kind of straddling the leg that's lifting. Let's go, round two, same leg. Good work. The other leg is helping stabilize, but also because I've kept my glute band on, I'm driving it away from my lifting leg. So that just adds a little more difficulty to my lifting leg. Good work, 10. Stay focused. Exhale. Good, rest. One more time on this leg, you're doing great. Grab a quick drink. Here we go. Last round. Two, one, and we're up. Great job, last half here. Come on, get the most for this leg. Remember, evening out, evening out our imbalances. Unilateral training is great for the core, but also great to make sure left leg, right leg, left glute, right glute, both are strong. Prevents injuries, creates muscular symmetry. Rest, 45 seconds if you wanna hold an active rest position. We're just holding a regular glute bridge. Okay, feel free to grab water here. You do not have to be bridging, but bridge up, connect with your glutes, catch your breath. We're doing the same thing on the other leg, okay? So if you need to grab your dumbbells, get set up. Let's do it. All right, 12 seconds. Ready? Here we go. Two, and we're off. Good job. Right where your glute meets your leg, feel that really good squeeze right here. Okay, totally okay to touch your own glute hamstring tie-in. <laughs> All right, feel it as you dig your heel down, driving through the floor a little harder. Feel that muscle maybe shaking, maybe working. Okay, even just close your eyes and get that mind-muscle connection. There you go. Two. Yeah, great job. Heavier if you can. Like I said, we will surprise ourselves a lot of the time. Go round two, and we're up. Feel it, come on, up, up, up. Stay focused here, don't drift, you're doing great. Rest. Okay, one more round on this leg, then we're hopping up. Okay, I know we've been on the ground for a bit. We got about 10 more minutes left in this workout, guys. Finish this one, two more exercises, three rounds. Ready? Last round here, let's go.
Great job. Let's go, 17. Five. And breathe for 45. Come on up to standing. We've got a sumo squat to sumo deadlift. Two dumbbells, two legs on the ground. Or if you have a barbell, kettlebell, you want to use that. That's totally fine. I'm taking my band off because we'll be taking dumbbells right down between our legs. Sumo squat, stand up. Sumo deadlift, stand up. Okay, these should not be rushed again. Okay, I know that you know that by now, but just a reminder. Okay, so you're gonna sit. You do not have to touch the floor. Hinge, stand, sit, stand. Ready, let's go. Three, two, and we're off. Watch your heels trying to rip this mat apart, okay? So as you dig your heels down, take them like you're trying to pull out. That drives your knees out. Get your glutes active. Good, rip your mat apart right here. Rest, good job. Go up if you can. I'm gonna wait one more round. Use my 30s for this round again, just to make sure back stays strong, form stays great. Then last round, we'll reevaluate, okay? Two, one, come on. Fifteen. Two. Rest. All right, let's go up. If you can. Do not have to. If you're ready for that challenge, think about it. Go for it. Two. One, come on. Two, breathe, 45 to rest, okay, we finish it out with a glute banded bridge pulse, okay, shoulder blades on the ground, I do want your band on if you have one, if not you're thinking abduction, okay, we're bridging up, we're holding here, so light band if you, or light dumbbell if you choose to have one on. We're going here. Each time we go out, we squeeze a little harder. Okay? True burnout, true beast mode mindset right here. Okay? I can do this. We are doing it together. All right, let's go. Bridge it up, pulse it out. Come on. Good job, you're thinking beast mode. You're thinking I 
can crush this. Stay up. 13. Rest. <sighs> Two more rounds of that, and you've made it, okay? We've got a nice, beautiful cool down. Seven seconds, we go round two. And we're up. <sighs> Think about your body weight rolling out onto the pinky toe edge of your foot. <sighs> Come on, I feel this too. It's not just you. You're not just extra tired today because of whatever you're thinking. This is a hard workout. You're strong. Right now, we are diving hard into every single thing that we can pull from our glutes and our legs. This is not easy. You are in beast mode right now. 14, come on. Grit your teeth, close your eyes, whatever. Stay with me. I'm depending on you. I know you're not quitting, so I'm not dropping. Rest. This is it, guys. Very last round. Your very last chance to show yourself. Okay. You managed to push through hard. All right. That's what you're built for. Resilience. Two, one, up, and we're up for 45, and we're not dropping. You and I, pinky promising right now. Stronger glutes together. Come on. Each time you drive your knees out, squeeze those glutes up. Embrace the shake. Do not drop, come back up, 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 up. Good job. You're in the teens for your seconds right now. Okay, come on. Everything you've got for the last 10. Can you lift and stay up and drive out? Hold here for five, four, three, two, Drop it down, stay right here on your back. Move your dumbbell out of the way. Hands out to the side. You've made it to your cool down. Okay, drop it over. Beautiful job. There you go, switch it over. Other side. Oops. Great job. Bring your legs back into the center. And if you still have your band on, go ahead and throw it off. All right. One leg is up. Pull that leg nice and straight back towards your chest. Very proud of you today. There you go, bend that leg, catch it with the other leg, push back. That's it, driving with this leg. And if you need to, you can grab behind this leg and pull towards your chest. This is a good stretch for everyday life, not just after your workouts that you focus on your glutes and your legs. We sit a lot during the day, so getting this figure four stretch in is great. All right, let's switch legs. That back leg, straighten it up now. Pull back. Keep your upper back flat onto the floor. Good job. Take that leg and bend it. Scoop it up with the bottom leg. Reach through and grab behind your hamstring if you need to. Beautiful work today. Growing your glutes. Accomplished with the three best movement patterns. Sagittal plane, meaning you're up and down like something in a sumo squat. Okay, abduction, like our lateral squat walks or driving out against this glute band and then hip extension, which is where we get the most excitation from those glute muscles. Think of things like Romanian deadlifts, which are a vertical hip extension move. And then think of things like glute bridges or hip thrusts, which are horizontal glute extension moves or hip extension moves for your glutes. When you do these movements, don't just go through the motions. Like I know you didn't today. I know you worked hard. I know you focused in. 
flip over to your belly and let's close it out with one last sequence here. Drop the hips. If this stretch is tough for you, you feel it really deeply in your hips, I want you to keep working on this so that you can make sure you're not sacrificing any glute work effectiveness out of these workouts by not being able to get into full hip extension. Okay, tuck your toes, lift your hips up to the sky. <sighs> walk your feet a little bit closer to you so you can get your heels on the ground and walk back to your toes nice and slow. <sighs> there you go. Bend your knees, roll it up nice and slow. <sighs> Great work today. As you head out, make sure you're remembering how important the exact movement is in every workout. Not 40 minutes of work, one rep at a time. That's really good, okay? Compounded by rest and another really good rep. Rest, another really good rep. Muscles are targeted by the resistance that they have to fight against, just like you in life. You're getting stronger by fighting against the resistance that is currently facing you. You're not the only one, although everyone's situation is different. Don't feel alone if you're trying to get through something right now. You are stronger because you are fighting right now. You will be stronger as you move forward. It's not all easy and you're not gonna get stronger through constant ease, right? Keep thinking of that. Whatever you're going through right now, this is building me to be my strongest self. I'm facing resilience because life is saying, let's toughen up, let's fight strong, so that the next time something comes your way, you're stronger and better prepared for it, all right? Sending you love whatever you're going through, sending you encouragement to keep pushing. If things are going amazing right now, use this time, embrace this time, get the most out of these workouts and move forward from here and support the workouts with your nutrition and your sleep, okay? Hydrate right after this, go grab a good meal, a good protein shake, and I'll see you back here for our next workout. I wanna know, what muscle activation move today did you feel the most all right which one was your best targeted exercise I want to know comment below and I will see you back here for our next workout great job today